What's up guys, it's Dirt Boys here, and today's video is going to be games I bought recently. Yeah, another one of them. But also, today, when I get home from work, expect another video I'm doing. I, I purchased a new system off of someone I work with. It's actually a retro system, but it's new to me, because I've never even played one. So, uh, later on today, expect another video from me. Uh, I bought a uh, Dazzle. But the problem is, is I bought the wrong one. I tried recording games with it last night, and it doesn't do the games. I found out that this one only does, like, direct imports, like your video cameras, or like a DVD. No, not even a DVD, just like your video camera. Or like webcam or stuff. So, it's not the one I want. So I have to go back, and hopefully they let me return it. But the guy I bought it off of, I explained to him what I wanted it to do, and he told me it worked, and it doesn't. You need to program it all. And when I looked up Digital Sunset's video, it's not the same Dazzle, so I found out that this isn't the right one. Uh, yeah. Oh, and my video camera came in. So expect that room tour probably tomorrow. Uh, I gotta mess with that camera. I barely had any chance to. I mean, I messed with it a little bit, but, uh, I haven't had a lot of time with it. So. Yeah, let's just get into the games that I bought. So, keep this video not so boring for you guys. Legendary Starfy. This game is awesome. It reminds me a lot of Mario World. And, uh, it has a lot of shades of Kirby. You guys can see that. But, there's like, there's also some shades of Sonic. The Hedgehog in here. And, uh, if you want to ask me how, if you guys played the game, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Dropped it. But, uh, yeah, Legendary Starfy. I had to actually ordered this offline because no, nobody had it near me. So, yeah. The Conduit. Bought it at GameStop because it has that exclusive stuff or whatever. I still haven't played it. I picked it up last night. And, uh, I hear it's a pretty decent shooter. At least for the Wii, I hear it's good. And, uh, I'm really excited to play the online. The online looks awesome. So, the Conduit. Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. I used to play this game all the time with my friend because he owned it. And uh, we beat it like three or four times. But I never owned it. I, mean, I hadn't even seen it in my GameStop until last night. Or yesterday, I'm sorry. And it's really neat because you use your Game Boy Advances as your controllers. So sometimes you'll be playing on the TV. And then like if you go into a tunnel or something, it'll come on your GBA. And I just think that's awesome. So... Really great game. Recommend picking it up. I think it was only four, it was fourteen ninety nine. So you know you give them your edge card and you're saving like a dollar something. It's worth it. Here you go. Here's a game I've been wanting. I told my fiance about it. And she bought me it. Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, I'm not a kid talks about it a lot, and uh, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Everybody talks about it. I hear it's really legendary. I did play it for a little bit. I was fighting the first Colossus, but we had to go somewhere, so I couldn't figure out how to save it, so I just had to kind of turn it off, but uh, if you guys could, if anybody here knows like where you save or how to save this game, just let me know, because I still haven't gone back to it, and I plan on going back to it, I want to beat this game and do like a review or something on it, so yeah. And lastly, I picked up Rock Revolution. I know what you guys are thinking this is a complete rip off for Rock Band because it is, but it actually has some really awesome tracks on here. And considering I got, I got this and the drum set at Kmart for $19 brand new, yeah, $19, I picked it up because I didn't know if it was a mistake or whatever. But they had like three for the 360 or like eight for the PS3. And I wasn't going to get it for the PS3 because all my music rhythm games are for my PS3, but I thought, you know what, I want to get one for the 360. So I picked it up, and uh, I have to get a guitar with it, because it doesn't come with a guitar, it only came with the drums. So uh, I was playing drums with it until like 2 last night, like 2 in the morning I was playing the drums. The drum set's a lot different than the Rock Band one, but the drum set's pretty decent. And for 19 bucks, you know, even if the game sucked, I wouldn't have cared. It was $19. But I'm actually enjoying it. It has some great tracks like Corn on there. It has um, Blink-182. Who else? Uh, Pantera Walk. You know, there's, a, there's a bunch of good songs on there that I enjoy. Then there's some, some songs that are eh. But the game itself is a pretty decent rhythm game. Pretty solid. And I was actually really impressed with the uh, 
tracks because I was ex wasn't expecting. It. I didn't even think it was a licensed music game until I popped it in. I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just saw it was 19 bucks and picked it up. So yeah. All right, I gotta get ready to go to work. I have to go meet up with my brother. So uh, yeah, I work with my brother. There's another fact for your tag video. <laughs> no, just. But uh, yeah. So expect that other system today. So, uh, and I'll tell you guys a story on how I got it. So, uh, yeah. Herbores out.